Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about my hair, my hair loss, my androgenic alopecia, and um, trying out wigs again. If you're new to my channel or don't know my history, I have polycystic ovarian syndrome, which is a condition that causes me to have higher than normal androgens in my blood. And because of that, I also have androgenic alopecia, which is why my hair is so thin and I have struggled with hair loss for the past decade. Um, there was a time in my life when I was shaving my head and wearing wigs exclusively. I got tired of doing that, so I decided to try and grow my hair out naturally, like my natural real hair, which is what this is. Um, my natural real hair, I did manage to grow quite a bit and it does look very pretty and healthy right now. However, it's still very, very thin on the top and it's getting to the point where it's difficult for me to hide my thinning. I mean, I really can't. I really can't. I, I delude myself into thinking I can, but I really can't. And it's getting to a point where it's causing me to be very self-conscious about myself when I go out in public, especially when I know the sun is shining on me or like bright lights, because I know everybody can see my, just see my scalp. I've been using various products to try and cover it up, but even that's not seeming to work as much anymore. I did start on a new medication called spironolactone very recently. I don't even think I've been on it for two months, two or three months yet, and I've just recently gone up to the actual therapeutic dose that might help my hair grow back, but it's gonna take three to six months for me to see any change at all. Of course, I use the rosemary oil and do the derma rolling and all that, but just nothing really seems to be helping. And when you have androgenic alopecia, sometimes there's nothing you can do and eventually, you may lose all your hair. That's something that's really scary for me. It, it makes me very self-conscious. It's very embarrassing. When you're a woman, you know, and a little girl growing up, you're always taught that your hair is, you know, your beauty. It's, it's, it adds so much to your appearance. And when you're losing your hair, it's quite devastating. And even though I'm really happy with the progress I've made with my hair, I especially love how it somehow turned wavy and my hair used to be straight, but when I grew it out this time, it's somehow wavy and I love that. Um, it's still not enough to make me really feel confident in myself. And I'm gonna show you the top of my head with nothing on it, with no products or anything, so you can see what I mean, even though that's incredibly embarrassing for me to do, and I'm sure people will use it to make fun of me. But I really wanna share this part of my life because I know I have many viewers and so many women out there struggle with this, and it's not easy. And not very many women are willing to talk about it publicly, much less on YouTube, because it's it's just an embarrassing thing to have to deal with. And honestly, if you're dealing with any kind of alopecia, whether it's androgenic alopecia or the other kind, uh, I can't think of the name of it right now. You shouldn't be embarrassed because it's not your fault. It's nothing that you did, like this is caused by a disease that I have that for which there is no cure and there's nothing that I can do about it. I've tried, I've tried and I've tried and I've tried for a decade to do everything I can. I've lost 100 pounds, I got my hormones under control, I take the medication you're supposed to take, I do all of the routine stuff you're supposed to do and just nothing really works. Now I am still a little bit hopeful that in three to six to nine months, I might see some regrowth on my scalp from taking the spironolactone. But in the meantime, I just, it's bothering me so much, I really wanna do something now. Recently, I saw some pictures of myself that were obviously taken by someone else, not by me at an angle where I'm trying to like hide my scalp and stuff. Like somebody else took pictures of me and I saw them and I was really quite horrified by how bad it looked. There have been like selfies I've taken or pictures of me and limbs together that I really wanted to post on Instagram or like keep for myself, but I couldn't because my hair looks so bad and it's just making me feel terrible and it's hurting my self-confidence, which my confidence had started to grow so much because I lost the weight I'm in recovery from my BPD, not recovered, in recovery from my BPD, and I am just feeling more independent and better about myself in all ways, even appearance-wise, except for my hair. So there's also another side to this. I've been dating Limbs for a little bit over five months now, and I have talked to him about my hair and that I used to wear wigs and all that, like he knows that, obviously because um, he's seen like the pictures of me in wigs and stuff. I feel like really almost embarrassed to have to talk to him about this and be like, look, my hair is getting really bad. I'm gonna go back to wearing wigs. Are you okay with that? Like, I know he will be, but I don't know, just somehow in my mind, I almost feel like, what if he doesn't like it? What if he thinks it's weird? What if he thinks it's ugly or gross? And I am not to the point where I'm ready to shave my head again yet. Um, I may get there, I don't know, but right now I just want to try 
wearing wigs again just to give me back my confidence and and then you also have to deal with the fact that you're gonna have this beautiful hair on and then when you come home at night and you're with somebody and you take it off and you're like oh here I am with no hair how do you feel about that so <laughs> kind of I'm kind of in a weird situation there was also a time in my life when I thought I am never going to wear my bio hair out ever again like I will always wear a wig from now on I don't know I did a bunch of mushrooms one time or something and decided I didn't need to wear wigs anymore and now I want them back desperately I wish I had all my wigs back but I did go ahead and buy a wig all right and we're gonna unbox it together and look at it so I bought a John Renault which were, were always the wigs that fit me the best and I bought it in a really pretty color I've had a wig in this color before um, but let's go open it up and I'll tell you more about it okay I went and got the box and some scissors and we're just gonna open it up right here and look at it I'm gonna put it on probably in the bathroom so I can see better but this is just the reveal now some people have asked me um, why I don't wear a topper since my hair looks pretty good on the bottom part. It's just the top up here that's bad. I used to wear a topper and and if you don't know what a topper is it's a it's like a half wig that clips into your hair on top and sort of just like blends in with your natural hair and they look they can look really good and really natural too. One thing that I really liked about a to wearing a topper is that nobody could tell and you could sleep in it if you had to. Like if I don't want to tell limbs <laughs> that I was you know adding extra hair I I could sleep all night in one of those and he wouldn't even know the difference but at the same time it pulls on your hair and can damage your hair almost like almost like a traction alopecia you can like situate where you put the clips every time but it always just felt to me like so tight like it was pulling my hair and I just didn't like the way it felt and I'm worried that it's damaging what little hair I do have and another thing my hair's gotten thinner since I wore the topper and I don't think I'd be able to really um, blend it in here in the front and it's very important that you can blend it in right here at the front because you have to sort of sit it behind your natural hair and as you can tell I don't have very much right there so I did just decide to just go ahead and get a full wig all right I'm taking her out of the box now and I'm very excited to see what she looks like I got this um, on sale and with a coupon because wigs are not cheap good wigs are not cheap these are what are considered glueless wigs and these are made for people with cancer people with PCOS people who lose their hair for whatever reason you, you basically they're just put them on and go this is a John Renault smart lace light synthetic wig and it has a lace front so it looks very natural when it's on it gives you like a little natural hairline so the name the name of this wig most wigs are named after like have women's names and this is the julianne light and the reason why i went with the light is because it's supposed to have a lower hair density than a regular wig so sometimes wigs can look very bulky and wiggy on me because i have a very small head and a very small face so I was really excited when I found, found out that John Renault came out with this light uh, line. And so there are several different wigs in the line. I got one that I really liked that was also on sale. Here's what it looks like. Okay, that's not the, it's inside out. All right, it's inside out. And I'm just gonna take it out very gently because in case it doesn't fit or I don't like it or something, in case I need to send it back. You need to be very, very careful. Okay, and it's attached to this somehow. There we go. So this is what it looks like. You can kind of see the color that it is. It's called chocolate cherry. I'm going to take, it comes with a little like net on it. So I'm going to take that. Morty, no. Morty thinks this is some kind of toy. No, Mort, Mort. My dog, he's down here like, what is that? Okay, so I'm going to just gently turn it inside out. And oh my gosh, it feels so light. Like this smart lace and look at the curls. Look at that. Um, and the color, it's like, it's supposed to be like a red and violet on black. Um, oh my god, I love the color, y'all. I love the color. So I do have to be very gentle with this because I don't want to mess up this very delicate lace. Now, one thing that I have heard people complain about after I bought this wig is that there's too much lace in the front and that they had to cut it back. And I'm very nervous to do that because I don't want to mess up this super expensive wig. Oh my god, look at that color, though. I don't feel like the camera's doing it justice. I'm gonna have to show it to you in some other light. Um, all right, so what I'm gonna do is go put my hair up in a wig cap and then we're gonna try this on. Oh, but first, before I, we try it on, I did wanna show you how, um, I guess, profuse my thinning has become. So let me show you the top of my scalp. This is incredibly embarrassing and makes me very self-conscious, but 
I'm doing it so that hopefully I can help other people. Like if you are dealing with this for number one, so that you don't feel alone. Number two, so that you see it's not something that we should be embarrassed about. It's not our fault. And number three, it's okay to wear wigs or toppers or any kind of alternative hair to make you feel more confident. Okay, so here's the top of my scalp and this is what it looks like with no products or anything, okay? Um, you can see how bad it's become. Um, you can obviously see, I mean, it's to the point where I just don't even want to go out of the house like this anymore. It's so bad and it just makes me feel really bad about my appearance, so. There you have it. My biggest insecurity, my biggest flaw, um, the thing that I like the least about myself is this, um, as far as appearance goes. Second would be the loose skin all over my body, but you know, at least I can hide that in the light of day. So I'm here in my bathroom and I thought while I was just about to put my hair in a wig cap that I could just show you guys how I do that. So, um, first of all, I just take, I actually like to use a smaller rubber band than this, but I don't have any right now. I'll have to get some, um, cause it's going to make it a little bit bulky in the back. But I basically just put it all up in a low ponytail. And this is how I do it when I have long hair. I only wear a wig cap when I have long hair through and make like a little bun out of it, like that. Shitty little thin ass bun. Um, when I have short hair, I don't, I usually don't wear a wig cap at all, but I will, will wear a wig grip. So first step is just putting my hair up, up like that. The next thing I do is put on my wig cap. So I like to use the ones that are um, open on both ends when my hair is long. Um, because it just makes it so much easier. All right, so I have my wig cap on now and I put it slightly lower than my natural hairline, which my natural hairline has receded some. So I figure this is more like where my natural hairline should be. And that's where I like to put the wig cap. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the wig and just like give it a good shake, shake it out. And this looks so light, y'all. I am like really excited to try this out because a lot of wigs can be really heavy and uncomfortable, especially in the summer, and especially if you're prone to hot flashes like me. So um, I'm really excited to try out this new Smart Lace. And let me just show you the cap of it. Look how light that is. Um, very excited about this. Because if this is comfortable, I could see myself wearing this like all the time. All right, so I'm gonna put it on. Oh my God, y'all. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to do something about the part and hold on, I'm gonna have to adjust this. So my wig cap is th showing through. That's gonna be a problem. I'm <laughs> uh, gonna have to figure out what to do about that. I may have to put some scar tape. Some people put scar tape there so that it looks like a natural part. Right now, obviously it's showing through. Okay, y'all. So this obviously looks a little silly right now because I've done nothing to it. I haven't styled it or anything. Um, and we're gonna have to work on the part. Obviously my wig cap is sh showing through, so that's gonna be a problem. Um, I got, got a hair stuck. Um, one, the first thing that I notice is how incredibly light and comfortable this feels. And oh my God, look at my face when I have hair. This is the first time I've seen myself both thin and with hair. And yeah, it doesn't look great right now. We're gonna have to style it. This is obviously straight out of the box. Uh, but it's very comfortable. I do think I'm gonna have to adjust it. It seems a little large for me. I almost bought a petite size because when I measured my head, I actually measure as a petite size. But then I remembered all the other John Renaults I had were regular size. And then after I ordered the regular size, I realized I wore those when I was fat and my head was probably fatter. But I think I can make this one work. Um, I'm just gonna have to cinch it in a little bit. It does have adjustable straps though. So let's see if we can do something to style this. Um, I gotta go get my wig comb. So with a curly wig like this, you never wanna comb the curls out, but I will use the wig comb just to help me part it. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of bring it down like this and see if I can figure out a part somehow that looks decent. I'll be back in a minute. Okay y'all, so after playing around with this wig for a little bit, the parting that I really like best is over here on the left. I had to think about which side was my left, okay? Don't judge. Um, over here on the left side, which I normally part my hair on the other side, but with this wig, I just felt like it looked best. Like, look at it from the side right here. I feel like that looks really nice. Now, this side is a little wonky. Um, I'm trying to play around with it. I can put it behind my ear because this, this wig has smart lace, so it has lace from ear to ear. 
Um, you can actually put it behind your ear, even wear it up if you wanted to, because um, it will look very natural. So I thought to take this big chunk here and put it behind my ear, kind of. Oops, messing up the lace. I'm messing up the lace. And then just kind of do one of these like that. Um, I feel like that looks slightly better, but I still, it's so bizarre to see myself with this much hair on my head. I feel like it looks best if I look from this angle, it looks best. If I look straight on, if, I feel like it's just, I haven't seen myself with this much hair um, in like 20 years. So it's very bizarre to me. Well, besides when I used to wear wigs, but you know what I mean. It's still like a shock right now because my hair's been so thin for so long. Um, so this side, this is not my good side, obviously, of my face or my hair. This is my bad side. But what do you guys think from the side? I'm going to have to go back and look at this video and like look at the picture and take some pictures of myself so I can see what it looks like. Um, I feel like it's too, it's still like too much volume. I'm trying to like push this down. It does have a little bit of permatease in it to kind of make it look a little poofier, but only a little bit. I am not crazy about permatease. Um, I didn't know this wig had permatease or I probably wouldn't have gotten it. But I think if I work with this enough, I can mold it around my face where it doesn't look terrible. I feel like right now it doesn't look terrible. So you guys let me know what you think. Here's the, let me show you the back. Here's what the back looks like. I love how it looks. And here's how it looks if I shake it around, give it a little shake. Um, I love the waves. It's a little curlier than I expected it to be, but I do like the waves because that's kind of how my natural hair would do if I had enough of it. Also, my ponytail thing is sticking out the back. I can feel it. So I'm gonna have to figure out something with that. I might not put it in a ponytail. I might just try to put it in a wig cap without the ponytail because I feel that little nub sticking out and I feel like people are going to be able to see that. Um, so I'm going to work with that and I'm going to work with getting this weird bang thing. I actually think this wig would look really cute with some bangs cut into it, but I'm afraid to do that because I don't want to destroy this wig that I just bought. Maybe I will, once it gets old, I will practice on it when I, before I get a new one. I need, or maybe I should get some cheap wigs from Amazon to practice on. Practice styling. I don't know how to style hair at all real hair or wig hair. So I usually feel like I'm not adequately equipped to do this. I wish there was like a wig salon around here I could go to and get them to style it, um, you know, thin it down a little bit and like style it around my face. That would be great. Um, okay, I wanna play around with it a little more, see if I can come up with anything better. But so far, I think this is about as good as it's gonna get. And I'm gonna wear this around the house today. Also, um, just to sort of get used to wearing it again. I am very nervous by the time I publish this video, Limbs will have already seen it. I'm obviously not going to publish this without because he sees my social media and stuff. So <laughs> I am not going to publish this without showing him first. So I will let you guys know how that goes. I am very, very nervous about telling him that I'm going to be wearing wigs again. And I, I don't know why. It's just like we have this in our mind as women that if we wear wigs, it's not us. It's not real. It's not, it's not our beauty. It's fake. It's fake. It's a sham. It's a, um, an illusion, you know, but I don't know. I think I look so much prettier with actual hair. So, you know, and I am going to wear this tomorrow night, uh, Friday night when I see him and I'll get, I'll gauge his reaction and let you know. But feel free to leave any comments if you have any, have any suggestions for how I can style this better. Obviously I have to do something about my wig, wig cap showing through there and you can see the part, how it looks very natural uh, on my scalp and the hairline looks very natural too. I got, I got to messed with the hairs here a little bit but the hairline does look very natural um when you pull it back and look at the lace and stuff don't pay attention to the wig cap but I'll get it looking nice and natural and the more I'm, the more I look at myself like the more I get used to myself having this much hair and it doesn't look bad you know I feel like this angle is the best that looks best and when I turn over here I'm unsure I'm unsure about this side so y'all let me know um, what you think, if there's anything you think I can do to make it look better. I'm also going to cinch it up because it is too big for me. And I think next time I will order a petite size, but I've got to make this one work now because I fucked with it too much to send it back. So I also wanted to come into the living room and show you guys more what it looks like in natural light. So you can really see the red color in it. 
It's like red and black. I thought it was gonna be more of a violet color, but it's more like red and black. I absolutely love it. It's even prettier than I thought it would be. And uh, I took some pictures of myself and I just don't feel like you can see like really how red it is. Maybe you can kind of see there. If you look at the top. But anyway, I am really liking it. I've been wearing it around the house for a little while. I'll just stop and like look at myself in the mirror and be like, holy crap, I don't even look like the same person. I'm still not sure how I feel about this under the ear thing. I feel like I look really emo, so I don't know. So, so far I like it. And also as I was sitting on the couch and I was taking a picture of myself and I saw how pretty I looked and I thought, oh my God, I am never ever gonna stop wearing wigs again. Um, my bio hair, it just, it's just not there anymore. I just don't have it anymore. It's time for me to give it up and accept that um, I have alopecia and I am going bald. And um, in order for me to feel good about myself and feel pretty, then I'm just gonna wear beautiful wigs. And uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And I don't also don't think that you need to be embarrassed about it. Even though I am embarrassed about it, I'm trying to work on that. And hopefully this will help me because um, thousands and thousands of people are gonna see it. And now I'm actually feeling like quite excited for Limbs to see this. It's been a couple hours and I'm back because I wanna say, I wasn't gonna record anymore, but I think I figured something out about this wig. I think I had it way too low on my forehead. I think I just have a big forehead, okay? Uh, because when I pulled it back to like where my natural hairline is, and don't pay attention to the wig cap, I know. I'm, I'm not worried about that right now. I was just trying to get the placement right. Um, when I pulled it back to my natural hairline, look how nice it looks. Like I don't even have to do anything weird. It just looks good. See? It doesn't look too heavy or anything. So I think I was wearing it too far down that whole time and that's why it looks so strange. Okay, so if you were gonna comment, tell me I was wearing it way, wearing it way too far down, you were absolutely right, I was. <laughs> um, yeah, it looks so much nicer. I need to fix the wig cap, pull the wig cap back, like back here, and uh, then I think this will look really good. Okay, so I took off the wig cap completely and look at this. I took off the wig cap completely, pulled it back to my natural hairline, and y'all, I don't even have to do anything. Like, I just parted it on the side, and it looks so good. When you get a new wig, sometimes it takes a little while to, like, figure out how to wear it, especially for me, somebody who's not very good with hair and that kind of thing at all. But, um, this is how it looks. Let me show you the other side. So this whole video I've been wearing this wig completely wrong and looking... I was like, my forehead looks like a square, and that should not be, right? So I was like, I must be doing something wrong. So I just pulled it back, took off the wig cap completely, and look how natural the part looks, right? And this piece right here just kind of goes to the side like that and actually looks really nice around my face. So I think I've, I think I've done it. I think I've figured it out, and I am definitely keeping this wig. It is slightly too big for me, even cinched up, um, but... I'll make it work. I'll wear a wig grip under it, it'll be fine. Okay, so now make your comments on how the wig looks when I'm actually wearing it properly. <laughs> Ooh, just imagine how cute I'm gonna look with one of my Disturbia dresses too. Um, I'm gonna paint my nails tonight, get all ready um, to go out tomorrow night with limbs with my new hair. And also, let me tell y'all, this is the most comfortable wig I have ever worn in my life. Once I took the wig cap off, it barely feels like I'm wearing anything because of the cap construction. It's not wefted, it's hand tied. And I don't think I've ever had a cap like this. It's fantastic. I know one thing, I will never go back to any other kind of cap construction. I want the smart lace. I want the lace front hand tied cap with mono top so I can part it anywhere. And uh, that's the only kind of wig I'm gonna buy. And I actually think I might eventually get all of the John Renault lights. Um, the next one that I wanna get is Zara light and it's just a long straight. It's like a long straight wig. So I wanna try that since now I have this nice um, wavy one. And I'll probably get it in the same color, chocolate cherry. The thing about the John Renault lights is they don't have very many fun colors. It's it's a lot of like, you know, natural blondes, browns, blacks, that kind of thing, red. Um, this was the only like fun color that they really had. So I'll probably buy them all in this color. John Renault does have a really pretty blue color. I think it's called like glacial blue. Um, I used to have a, a John Renault in that color, but none of the lights are in that color. And I need this lower hair density. Those those other wigs just look too bulky on my tiny little head. But I think I'm just not gonna wear wig caps. I just have to figure out how to contain my hair under here. Right now I have it in that ponytail and it's sticking out the back like I can feel this big lump. So I have to figure out how I'm gonna contain my hair under here. But I am super, super happy with this. I look so good, y'all. Like I look normal again. And it's, it's I'm telling you, it's gonna do wonders for my confidence. 
especially with as comfortable as this is, man, wig technology has come a long way since I first started wearing wigs. Let me tell you. I, I feel like this is so light. I could wear it in the summer. I could wear it all day, all night. I don't think I would have any problems at all. I did a lot of fucking with this front piece and I wish I wouldn't have now. I wish I just would have known that I could just wear the wig higher up on my hairline. <laughs> I just have a high forehead. I just have a lot of forehead. I thought it was because my I was losing my hair, but I don't think so. I think I just, that's just what my forehead looks like. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Maybe I need to try a wig with bangs to cover some of that shit up. <sighs> All right, y'all. Well, I guess I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. I'm probably going to go stand in front of the mirror for another two hours and fuck around with this and look at myself because it's just so incredible when you go from having like almost no hair, like you saw it, to having a full head of hair, it just feels so fantastic. And I think it was worth every penny. <laughs> and I am definitely um, going back to full-time wig wearing at this point. Um, I'm Like I said, I still have hope that my hair may grow back from the spironolactone, but if it doesn't, you know, I'll just have effortlessly beautiful hair for the rest of my life. Thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to hear your comments. I will see you with a new vlog sometime in the future. Bye.